it's like five o'clock in the morning. I'm just go there. Good morning, welcome to Follow Gano. It is about five o'clock in the morning. We have just arrived. We got a bus last night at eight o'clock from Malacca. Just arrived here now. We can't check in, I've just had a look. I mean, I don't know whether, we're not even gonna bother walking over to the hotel, to be honest. We mm. can't check in on, this is the website tw um, two, but I'm assuming we can check in earlier than that. But what, we definitely can't check in at this time, at five o'clock. So, we're kinda of just gonna sit here. We're gonna see this main, go back to sleep for a little bit. I have been awake since it's like half past two, so I have like four hours sleep. It's not been the best night, but. That's okay. Are you gonna try and have a sleep or? Yeah, yeah I'm to do that, yeah. So we're just, uh, yeah, we're just at the bus stop where they've just dropped it off. Yeah. Gonna make Stephen a little bed and I might sit and just do some work for a little bit. <laughs> Stephen's changed his mind. He's gonna have a little um, movie session, I think, down here. I think I will too. I just said to him, if I was you, I would definitely be going to sleep. Like, I don't wanna go to sleep. Because, like, obviously we've got the bags and things, so we need to keep an eye on it. Mind you, if he's staying away, I might get some sleep. Possibly, we will see. The sun is starting to come up. I'm honestly absolutely shattered. I think it's about seven o'clock now. I really need a bed to just go to sleep. I think we'll probably just wait here maybe like another hour or so and then go and grab some breakfast from somewhere or something. I'm so tired. So, so tired. This one is so good though. It just kind of gets on with it. Like he's been woken up in the middle of the night. It's like we arrived at like half past four or whatever. And he's just yeah, he's so good. He doesn't whinge or moan or anything. Yeah, right. It's nine o'clock now, and I'm getting extremely bored. So I've just left Stephen. I'm just gonna go. We just might by the hotel. I'm gonna go and see if we can check in. Hopefully, we can. Oh no, I've just checked in. We're gonna go and grab Stephen. Oh, I can't wait. I think I'm just gonna crash for a little sleep for a few hours, I think. Yes! We checked in. <laughs> this is how I left him, just in the corner, like a little homeless boy. We can check in. I know, let's go and have a sleep, hey. Okay, we're in. Where's the light switch? Oh, look at this. Oh, the carpet. Yay! Oh look, a double and a single. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, this is a nice big space. Oh look, there's loads of space for yoga. Oh, let me jump these bags. Here's our room. Reasonably big to be honest. We've got a TV, a wardrobe, a luxury to have a wardrobe, isn't it? Aircon and bathroom. Right, I am definitely going to try and grab a couple of hours sleep and I will see you later. Hopefully when I'm more with it. I'm so tired. We've had a little bit of sleep. It's much later now. I've had maybe like two hours. This one fell asleep. It's like four o'clock now. How long? You don't know when you four hours. Did you have like four hours sleep? So we got in there at nine. Did you only fall asleep at twelve? I went to no. I think you've had a lot of sleep. <laughs> but, um, Oh, it's a quite a lot of sleep. Don't think it's going to be going to sleep tonight at all. We're heading out because we haven't eaten today at all. So we are heading out to get something to eat and just for a little wander. I just had a little look on the map and uh, Chinatown, I think, is this way. So we're going to head down that way. Oh, look at this. Art here. That's really funny. Marine conservation is everyone's responsibility. I've just been watching a documentary on Netflix whilst I was waiting for Stephen to wake up uh, about coral reef and how it's dying. You should watch it. Uh, coral, I can't remember, it was really good actually. About how climate change is affecting the oceans and how coral reef is all dying. Yeah? Please say no. Oh yeah, please say no to shark fin. We saw a thing. Just having a little explore whilst we try and find something to eat. We're just heading to the waterfront. Oh, this is nice. Oh, 
Turtle Alley. Oh, leatherback turtles in, oh my goodness, in Turngano have declined by 99.9%. Well, they obviously have an issue with their marine life. Turtles mistake plastic bags for food, keep our beaches and oceans clean. Plastic on beaches really pisses me off. Wow. Oh, this is a cute little um, alley. It's called Turtle Alley. The People's Mosaic. All about turtles. Yeah, aren't they nice? Yeah, different people have made these mosaics of turtles. I wonder if like kids did it or well, some were kids, yeah. Oh, and then there's bigger ones. On the wall and on the floor. What a cute little alleyway. If you want to know how to save turtles, here are six tips of what you can do. Precious turtle eggs, please do not eat them. Here's Chinatown. Stephen's too starving, we need to just go and get something to eat and stop this wandering around. We've eaten, we're absolutely stuffed. I think, to be honest, we're just gonna head back to the hotel. Look Eight at all that rubbish. That's all, yeah. <laughs> um, we're just gonna head back to the hotel. I'm just feeling shattered and can't be bothered today. So, gonna go back and hopefully start all the Wi-Fi. We can't get any Wi-Fi in the hotel at all, not even in the lobby. So uh, we can get it, but then it just says like no internet connection. So I don't know, I don't know what's going with it, but we need to try and sort that out. We've just been chatting about where we're going from here and what we're doing and looking at the, the different islands. There's a few islands around here, Verdang, Corinthian, uh, uh, Capaz Island, a few different ones. So we're just looking at where we can go to and what we can do from here. But yeah, back home for now. Can't even get like, 3G, it's rubbish around here, or oh, my 4G, I should say. I can't even get internet on my phone. Bad times. We can't get internet in this damn hotel. We've been down to the lobby, talking to the guy at the lobby, and he's like, he's reset the uh, the router, but nothing seems to be working. So we have no flipping internet, and my phone isn't even working particularly well, like just on its 4G. That's so, so annoying. So it looks like we've got a night with our Wi-Fi. What on earth are we gonna do? <laughs> we've not even got things um, downloaded onto Netflix. Maybe we'll just play some games or something, I don't know. But I wanted to, but I'm annoyed because I wanted to kind of come back and, well obviously I need to work, which is kind of annoying. I need to upload and stuff. But uh, I wanted to kind of get organized and sorted for the next week or so what we're doing. Cause we've got like a week, a week and a little bit week and two days left in Malaysia before we head back up to Thailand so I just wanted to kind of get that a little bit sorted even if it's just in my own head not necessarily getting things properly booked but just getting things organized and like researching things a little bit but I can't really do that so I'm just I'm just sorting out my drone plugging that in charging it up I'm gonna take it for a little flight in the morning I think when I go for a run I'm gonna end it here for tonight because we are just staying in the hotel room for the rest of the evening, it's about like 8 o'clock or something. Now, we've still got no Wi-Fi. I kind of don't really know what to do with myself. Like, I've literally got nothing. I can't get any 3G, 4G on my phone. I don't know if I've said that before. But I can't get anything, and it's very frustrating. You don't realise how completely dependent you are upon it until it's not there anymore. I really just want to book. <sighs> Never mind, right, I'm going to go. I'm not going to whinge about it, <laughs> hopefully. Tomorrow it'll be working. I'm not that hopeful, but we'll just uh, we'll just wait and see. If it's not working tomorrow, then I don't know what we'll do because I need to obviously plan um, things the next couple of days or whatever and what we're doing. And I can't plan and sort them and book anything without the internet. I don't know. We'll have to find somewhere with internet if we can't get internet in the hotel. But anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.